How's everybody doing today? I am excited to react to another video and I hope y'all enjoy it. And don't mind this little line that I have here. I don't know if you can get close and you can see that line. I just got off work and at work I wear a hairnet. I'm a stereotype for the OR so we have to cover our hair. Today I am going to react to Nate's life. I guess he's engaged to be married. I haven't really followed him. I've seen two videos on his channel and I really don't like what I see, to be quite honest with you. Him and his girl do pranks and I mean they're fake. You can tell they're fake. That's fine. That's fine. That's what the entertainment is for. My whole thing is, regardless of it being fake or not, you can tell how he treats her. And I honestly feel like he's he's abusive. And that, that might be stretching it a little bit too far, but I know abuse when I see it, I'm telling you. I'm really good at reading people. I'm not a sidekick, but I am good at reading people and how they interact with each other. So, that being said, I'm not gonna knock them. I'm not gonna knock down this video yet because I haven't watched it. Uh, the video I'm deciding to watch is. Hold on a second. I don't want to marry you. Prank on a girlfriend. She cries. Okay, now let's check this out. Ooh. You already know I'm engaged to be married. Getting married on September 6th. And if my girl ever pulled this on me. She will not be seeing me ever again in life because you don't you don't just do that to me, okay? I went on my knee to propose to you, so you better not you better not leave me at the altar neither. You guys already know by the title what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be acting like I never want to get married to Michaela, and we talk about getting married all the time, and she really wants to get married, so I feel like it would be the perfect prank to pull on her. Because, yeah, she really wants to get married. But, yeah, I can't wait to see what type of reaction she gives me, y'all. Also, I don't think he's proposed to her yet. I guess they just had to talk. I feel like I already know, but I know that it's going to be a really good reaction. So make sure you smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure your post notifications turned on. Y'all hear that? That's Gizmo. No! You know, what's up? I'm posting every single day, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. But yeah, yo, we're about to get set up, wait for her to get back to the crib. And I'm going to get this prank going, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. One, six, two. Okay. So... You know it's a serious talk when you're sitting or laying on the bed. That's your private time, that's your time where you're mellowed down and you can talk about anything. So, let's see what happens. So, I honestly been contemplating on how I felt about marriage and I feel like I don't ever want to get married. I mean, we could be together, but I don't feel like I ever want to, you know, go to that level and, like, do all that extra stuff. Why? Because I feel like it's unnecessary. It's a waste of time. Wait, so you want to have kids with me, but you don't want to marry me? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's actually realistic that's like so reality that's how it is nowadays a lot of couples just want to have children and not get married and there's nothing wrong with that I see nothing wrong with that it's whatever you choose to do in your life you know as long as you're, you're both on the same page that's what matters and if you're not y'all gotta talk about some things why would I not want to have kids with you have you seen yourself thanks but <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I heard it the wrong way. Okay. It was a compliment. It doesn't have anything to do with you not wanting to commit with me. Just because you like the way I look doesn't mean... I mean, but we are committed. We're in a relationship, right? No, but this is not a full commitment. Oh. We what stay in the same house. We so listen, listen. What bed. do you have to do for us to be done? Um, break up. And that's it. You could break up in a marriage. Uh, no, it's not that easy. 
what makes it harder? It makes it harder because you're committed to each other legally and spiritually, which means that if you were to, to divorce me, that's a process. It's not that easy. <laughs> so, I so she wants to trap him. It ain't gonna be that easy for you to walk out because we got papers now. We got a contract, okay? Girl, if that's what you really think, don't tell him that. Now he's not gonna really want to marry you. At least through separating, we could still work out. And, and, and it's something that legally binds us, but also spiritually, where you are saying to God, you are saying to your family, you are saying to me that you want to be with me for the rest of your life and you take it very seriously. Huh? How did you ask me to be your girlfriend? I don't say you get married very seriously and I don't wonder how I ask you. And Just. That's a problem too. Oh. Uh, because you obviously don't take like promises seriously. Like I remember exactly what, what we were doing how you asked me and everything. Okay, I don't know what we were doing. What? I was sitting in front of the back. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you raising your hand? That is not how you asked me. Yeah, I was sitting in front of the back. No. Like, I like that. And you like, you. And I was like, oh, you like it? Why don't you be my girlfriend? No. Say that forever. Hey, there's some truth in that though. A lot of guys seem to say I love you, and girls, a lot of people like to say I love you in the middle of sex. And then when they wake up the next morning, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I just told her or told him I love him. Oh my God. No. That's, that's what happened. That's not what happened. Yes, it is. This is not a joke, me. What do you mean it's not a joke? See, it's like stuff like it was, this matter to you. He wasn't, he wasn't complaining when you were saying yes. Yes. That's not how you asked me to be your girlfriend. That's 100% how I asked you. But anyway, like See, I was saying. See, you think everything's a joke. No, it's not. If you're talking about the way I look, is that the only reason why you want me? Like, yeah. I don't get it. I actually, honestly, I actually believe that's true in their relationship. I really feel like he's into her more because of her looks than anything else. I don't know if he is in love. I haven't followed them for that long, obviously. But watching those, those two videos and looking at their thumbnails every time they upload, it's all about selling sex. You know, she's a beautiful woman. She, you know, she's always revealing some type of cleavage, legs, thighs, whatever. Sex sells. It is what it is. I feel like he's using her for his channel, like just for her looks. Just look at the thumbnails. Go on their channel and check out their thumbnails. Um, and it's, it's crazy because that would be fine if the channel was called Nate and whatever her name is. But it's called Nate's Life, and this channel is based on both of them. And, and yet, she's mostly on the thumbnails showing her body and, you know, trying to get people to come and, and subscribe. So, I don't know. I think he's using the hell out of her, but that's just my opinion. Is that the only time you want me around just because of the way I look? You know, like, have you seen yourself? I mean, the way you look and the way you moan, but, you know. You sound like a dickhead. Okay. You know that, right? I don't look like one. Does it have a dick on my head? No. That's not funny. I don't know why you brought it up. It wasn't it, funny. Because you're acting like a no, brat. Like, like a you're brat. really, like in an entitled brat. Like you know how much marriage No, is. you're you're acting entitled. I don't want to get married. Is it really Okay, so funny? what if I asked you to marry me? Then I'm going to say, um, you sure you're talking about me? Get up, girl. No. <laughs> Why would you accept that? I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh, my shoes are tied, babe. Appreciate it. Okay, so what if I propose to you and pick the wedding? You I just, still wouldn't I just marry told me. you. Alright, say, my Here shoes comes are an tied, ad. Babe. Look at the Why corner. And I, oh. Let me get rid of this ad real quick. Okay, but I would really want to marry you, so I don't understand the okay, problem. Okay, you really want to marry me. It's been you. two years and you still haven't popped the question. Okay, two years, people wait four, five, ten. Why the other people? Exactly, so I'm going to do it on my own time, which is never. <laughs> never. Two years is not a long time. You can wait, girl. Why be in such a hurry, you know? We can wait, too, but 
I want to marry my woman. She wants to marry me. Never ever? Never ever ever? Why? Because I don't feel like it's necessary, honestly. I don't want to feel pressured. I'm not trying to pressure you, but you know how much, like... Okay, so... I'm not going to have a baby by you if you don't marry me. So you're not going to have a baby if we don't get married? No. I guess you're never going to have a baby. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say what? That I'm not going to have a baby if we don't get married. Marriage means a lot to me. Okay, having a baby means a lot to me. Okay, both of them mean a lot to me. Okay. But I'm not trying to be nobody's baby mama. Who said anything about being a baby mama? Me. We're not going to be married, which means that while well, we have a child, you could leave me at any time. Okay, well, see, you always focus on the negatives. I'm more of a positive person, you know? Okay, I'm positive too, okay, but I, so I really want to have a family together, and I feel like you're treating me as a joke. Like, like not, you're, you're talking about, have you seen your body? What happens after I give birth and my body doesn't look the same? Like, That's a serious so question. That's a serious question you should be asking him. For real, for real, for real. I'm telling you, girl. I don't know. Something about that guy. I don't think y'all gonna last that long. Oh. See what happens when I talk too much? Let me rewind that. I missed what he said. I have a family together and I feel like you're treating me as a joke. Like, like you're, you're talking about, have you seen your body? What happens after I give birth and my body doesn't look the same? Like, are you still gonna love me? Then I'm gonna be on to the next, like I should be. Oh! Damn, yo. <laughs> It was an uncalled for joke, you know? But it doesn't change that I don't want to get married. I don't know. Well, if you don't want to get married, then I don't want to feature with you, period. Okay, I don't want to feature with you if you don't want to have my baby, so I, I guess, have I, guess I guess then, no. I guess then you, you said what you had to say, so I guess this is what's happening. You don't want to be with me, right? Do you want to be with you? So why would you say you don't want to be with me? If you're not going to marry me, and you want a baby by me, I'm not going to be somebody's baby mama. That's not what I'm going to be. Who's calling you a baby mama? You you bring all these extras. You just told me you're going to leave me if my body And I said it was an uncalled for joke, right? That's definitely not uncalled for. I mean, it's definitely uncalled for, but I feel like you're being serious. Like. Like, why would somebody joke like that? The only part of this conversation that I'm being serious about is that I never, ever, 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 ever want to have a baby. That's the only part. You never want to have a baby. You didn't say enough ever, but yeah, I don't want to have a baby. So you don't want to have a baby? Never, ever. What about marriage? No, I, don't, I, I actually do want to have a baby. I just don't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're playing with her emotions right now. I get what you said. I got, I got what you're saying right now. But you could say... If you don't commit to me, how can you assume that your child will ever commit to something if you don't lead by example? No, my, Why parents, don't you... my parents aren't True. married. Okay, but okay. are you your parents? Exactly. Everybody so, so, so my, is, is my child me? So that <laughs> what is you saying? You saying he has a point too. He has a to point too. I, I would like to have for myself. Okay. I don't agree that everybody should get married. So exactly. Oh, oh. oh my god. Like us, we're never gonna get married. Okay, but I'm sure that your mom <sighs> agreed right, okay, to not listen, get married. Listen. It was something they mutually agreed listen. on. Listen. We have to mutually agree on that. Oh. So it's either. You respect that I don't want to get married. And her generation's a lot different than ours. Our generation. Listen, is a lot you see, you always try to butt in. What? It's really simple. It's either you respect it or you don't. So, like I said, I understand what you're saying. I agree to disagree. Simple. Okay. You, you can hear agree to disagree. Is there anything I can do? Like, let's talk about it. I, I, I love you, and I do want to get married to you. I told you I'll even, I'll even propose to you. I don't need you to propose because I'm not trying to get married. 
And I told you what you could do, but you didn't. That is so sad to me. She is so sad to me. Just like the other two videos I've seen from them. Like, she's very desperate. Like, she's very needy. She, she'll do anything for him. And it's not in a good way. Girl, you gotta have some self-love. Some self-respect. Cause, oh man, girl, I'm telling you, you don't wanna, you don't wanna live your life like that. I'm just, li I'm just saying. Okay, you're not gonna kiss your face. Exactly. So you're trying to be little me. I'm not trying to be little. Anymore. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not just, gonna kiss your face. Okay, I'm not getting married. Exactly. <laughs> I just brushed so respect, my teeth. Listen, listen, listen. Like I said, respect it. <laughs> the same way you're not gonna kiss my feet. That's your choice, right? So we all have choices. Yeah. Okay. So respect my choice. Damn, yo. Why are you coming back in? Well, let's go. Why are you big mad? Come on, let's go. No, can you get? Can you please leave me alone? The more? activities are for two. Come on, let's go. Oh, that sucks. I guess you're gonna have to find a new girlfriend that you don't wanna marry out here. But don't worry, that's really easy. Could you just simply go on Tinder? Come on, let's go. No, I'm cool. Come on, let's go. No, I'm cool. Thank you. <laughs> Can you please leave me alone? Thanks. Pleasure, you made me cry. What else do you want? Come on, let's Thank go. you for running. What else do I want? I want us to go and have fun. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, can you leave me alone? On a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you? Can you stop? No, you know a dirty <laughs> clothing, you just touched the bottom of your shirt, oh, your freaking shoe. On a, on a can scale, you go wash your hands? Can you go wash your hands? Can you go wash your hands? Can you please go wash your hands? Answer my question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you? I'm really annoyed. Nate, can you please stop? You just touched yeah, the bottom. You didn't scale it 1 to 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm really upset. Can you please wash your hands? You just touched the oh, bottom. Oh, okay, your okay. that's not how you scale. That's not. On a scale of one to ten, how mad are you? Upset. Thanks. What level? One. To Nate, ten. can you please go Five, wash your hands? Four. No. Okay. What? On a scale of one to ten, how mad are you? Ten. And can you please wash your hands? It's that easy, big man. <laughs> okay, can you wash your hands? <laughs> you big man. Okay, cool. Can you wash your hands? <laughs> go wash your hands. No, seriously, I'll kick you. No, Kick them, girl. Kick them. Stop. Kick them, girl. Just, just the bottom of your shoe. I'm not joking. Prank or not, oh, kick them. Stop, em. please. I'm begging you. Stop. <laughs> Nick, can you please go wash your hands? Stop. Stop. Please. Stop. 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 Stop.